These are one of my favorite birds anywhere in the world. These are glossy black cockatoos in our garden. I feel so proud that we have them. That's the little girl uh, with the yellow markings around her head. The boy um, doesn't have any head markings. They've both got red tails, but he's a bit redder. But what they live on are she oaks. That is, they're technically aloe casuarinas. And these have been coming here over 30 years. And a few weeks ago when they came, there was three of them. Uh, so one of them was the baby. They only had one baby. Um, these birds will probably be extinct soon. In the Sydney area, the only she-oak they'll eat is aloe casuarina littoralis. So this is uh, an aloe casuarina littoralis type of she-oak that they eat. Uh, I planted this one, and although it's a little bit blown around because it's just on rock here, this is what dinner is like. So if you look at it, there's, if you like the cone or whatever, inside that would be about 50 seeds and they patiently just pick them out one after the other. And if you go to a really good native plant nursery, they may have some of the particular uh, she-oaks that they eat. And if you can put yours on, uh, in, they won't get the nuts on them probably for three years or more, but you're starting to save them. We're in Sydney, there's very few of these in Sydney and usually they're in the areas where there aren't houses, it's sort of a bit of bushland. If you put out food for most cockatoos, you know, sunflower seed and all that, pretty much all the cockatoos will go, how good's that, and start eating it. Not these guys, they only eat that. And if they have got an appropriate she-oak, they starve to death, like after those big fires on King Kangaroo Island, where that's where the majority of these are. It wasn't the fires that killed them. It, they died of starvation afterwards because they don't know what else they can eat and they don't seem to be able to work it out. We're right next to them. They're the most placid, beautiful creature. But if we can't work out some way that they can get food, uh, they will become extinct. So that's the one we all should be saving. If you're ever gonna work on one species of animal in Australia, the glossy black cockatoo. How lucky are we to have them sharing our lives with us?